What can you do as a yoga teacher to make your students feel extra special during the holiday season or any holiday for that matter? My name is Ashley. Welcome. You can find me at ashesyoga.com or across any social media as Ashes Yoga. And today I'm sharing with you different ideas that you could do to make your, your people feel special or appreciated in this time. What kind of little gifts could you give to your students, to your participants who go to some of those holiday classes or special classes? Or if you only teach once or twice a week, maybe you want to give something to someone during a holiday week or month. So let's chat about that. Uh, and if you have any ideas on top of this, please leave comments. Let me know and let everyone know what you are planning to do for your yoga students during this holiday season. What are you giving away, creating, making? And if you're not doing anything, that's okay because the gift of yoga, gift of yoga, oh, it's often enough. However, it's sometimes fun to do a little bit extra and make things feel extra special. So I'm going to give a few things that I've done in the past and also some ideas that uh, you could do for yourself. Number one, I do this in every yoga class and it's not necessarily extra special, but it's something that I like to have in classes is to use essential oils. And they don't have to be any specific brand. I happen to use the doTERRA brand uh, just because I also have some on, on sale at the yoga studio. Um, but using essential oils during your classes can help to enhance it in different various ways. The best ones I would recommend would be lavender at the end because it's relaxing. Maybe peppermint is a little invigorating boost and lemon. So very basic three. Lemon is, is great for mental focus and clarity and also citrusy and uplifting. So those three, peppermint, lavender, and lemon are really awesome. I'm, I do sell these in the studio as well. This little trio intro pack, it's $29. But anyway, you could get them from anywhere and just having some can help your enhance your classes. Next up, I like to get crafty. So I have a few crafty things that I've done in the past and I share with students. And one of those, the more popular ones that I do is creating a little trinket. This is a yoga mat keychain and it's the cutest. And I actually have a video, actually I have a bunch of these, a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different um, little trinket things, charms on there. And uh, I have a video that explains how I make these and also a link, which I should link here too, um, a link on where I get the stuff to make this. So it involves thin, pretty inexpensive, they're like $7 each yoga mats, $7 yoga mats from Walmart. The charms I get from Amazon and there's a bunch of different kinds and the key rings I also get from Amazon, and then some super glue, a scissors and a needle nose pliers and a little nail, which hopefully you would have those at home, but you can also purchase those. So I have how to make them. I also have these for sale at the studio and actually also on Etsy. And I put these for sale on Etsy for, what was it, $8 each. Because honestly, I don't want, I actually don't want people buying these on Etsy, but they do, people do. And so I have to mail them out. And the reason I put them on Etsy is because I never used Etsy before. I wanted to try it. So I have these for sale, which I thought was for a price that was a little unreasonable, just higher than what I would want. And um, I get people buying them. So I have them for sale at the studio for $5 each. I also give them away often as gifts for those who attend my special yoga classes or workshops. So that's a fun thing to do, little trinkets. You could easily turn this into a Christmas tree ornament just by putting a hook or maybe a little strap or something onto them, I don't know, somehow having them on your Christmas tree. Another thing we could do, let's see, I have over here, this is also kind of an inexpensive way to do this, stickers. These ones were printed on my inkjet printer and I just cut them out myself. <laughs> and the biggest um, tip I have for stickers, if you print them from yourself or from anywhere else, and I'll give you a recommendation, is to have your website or your name or something leading back to you. 
I don't have that right now for the yoga mat keychains. I wish I had maybe a tag that said my email address or my name or something, but I don't right now. So that would be a tip when, you, when you're giving out anything that's cute, trinkety, awesome, creative, is to have something leading back to you so that, it, that eventually it does, you know, people think of you when they look at it. And so stickers, these ones are not waterproof. Again, I printed them myself. I went super cheap with this, but I could still pass these out and that would still be kind of an extra little boost. You could, you could do sayings, you could do anything really, and I do have a different design that I'm gonna get printed soon. Um, and I'm actually gonna go through a website called stickermule.com, stickermule.com, and they have really great quality stickers and um, fast shipping. So, of course, the price of them is gonna vary depending on how many you get. There is a deal out there, I think, get your first 10 stickers for a dollar to try them out. But other than that, you're gonna, each sticker is gonna run you mm, about 50 cents to $1.50 each, depends on how many you buy. Of course, the more that you buy, the more designs that you buy, the less each sticker is gonna cost individually, but you're gonna spend a lot more upfront, right? So if you have a specific design or logo that you like to use across the board and you're going to use for years to come, sure, print a bunch of stickers. I'm actually going to do that here for the yoga studio soon. I just haven't gotten there yet. And so, uh, stickermeal.com, so that is a kind of inexpensive thing to get for people as well. You could go off and buy like those oval stickers. That's, I got that, one of the oval stickers that says yoga in it. I got that from one of my yoga teachers in the past and it's awesome. It just didn't say, you know, the website or his, uh, name or anything on it, which was fine too, because some people aren't too concerned with that. And if they're your dedicated students, they're going to come back to you. Um, but I do say, if you do have any marketing stuff that you're creating or making yourself, put something on it that comes back to you. Okay, last thing that I do is um, I send out handwritten cards. I send out handwritten cards here at the yoga studio to every new person who walks through the doors and takes the class. And they are various cards. Sometimes they have mermaids, sometimes they're unicorns. They're just whatever cards I get and I typically buy them from Hobby Lobby for about half off. Usually it's like $5 for a big box of them, five or $6. And I buy a big box of cards and I go to the post office and get a bunch of stamps and I write cards. And it's so much fun for me and it's also so much fun for people to receive things in the mail that aren't bills because no one does that rarely people do that anymore. So I'll make cards and I have stamps too. So like I said, I like to be crafty and I put this on here. So I have both the, the this and the man stamp. So I'll use whichever one uh, before yoga, after yoga. And then in here, I'll just write something that says, you know, dear so-and-so, thank you so much for helping build our little growing community at Hobo Yoga in downtown Pulsebo. I so enjoyed having you in class and then maybe something personal that you learned about them or saw with them or something. Um, and then also I have little coupons and things depending on who joined. So sometimes when it's an out of, out of town person, I'll put in there a bring a friend pass or I put, a, and I put a business card or maybe a sticker or something in with it. Um, that just makes it feel extra special. So I send those out. This one is probably um, one of the more, not it's not too expensive, but just know that stamps can get kind of expensive. And I, I put that in my marketing budget. So that is part of my marketing efforts to get people returning back, of course, and for those who tried it out to feel like they were really welcome. And so this can be something that you do for your workshop, near your classes. I love handwriting cards. Just know that also takes quite a bit of time to do, um, but it's so gratifying. So cards or, or even the next thing. So that's all the stuff that I do. In the past, I've also done affirmation cards or like a deck of cards that has a dip, maybe their different intentions or there's even post-it books that have this too. I have one teacher that does that who gives a post-it to each person in front of their mat makes it a little bit extra special. And there's those affirmation cards you can just like like fan out the cards and say pick one. And then that's their card for the day and they get to keep it. I've received those in the past and I always save them. And I put them um, on a cork board or I put them by my window or somewhere because to me they're very special. 
I also have put those in some handwritten cards that I've made, some different little affirmation things. Um, you can't see it right now on the cork board. Actually, I'm going to go over there. There's things like this as well. It's this, um, an inspired life, and you'd open it up, and it has a uh, little tip in there. Listen to your life, see it for the fathomless mystery that it is. So these little things that um, I have one actually member of the yoga studio who just drops these off. And on the, on the back she wrote a note, make it a great day, hugs Kimberly. So you could do the same thing with these things. I think she gets a bunch of them from somewhere. So you pop it open and it's so, so cute. So this one would be a great one to give to your yoga students um, for classes. Oh, that's so cute. Thought compendium, thoughtful. I don't know where she gets these, but I'm sure you could find them on the internet. All right, so what is it that you are going to do extra special for your classes this year for the holiday season or for specific holidays? I would love to hear your ideas so that we can share with everyone else and create a little um, list so that we have um, ways to make ourselves and others feel extra special.